Unity Church of El Cajon welcomes you. Thank you for joining us for Transformational Tuesday. So get comfortable and let's get started. Welcome again. Thanks for joining us. We're here together. I'm, I'm Becky Rokel. This is Rev Deb and Linda Burnett, Burdett, and we're here to talk to you today about faith and trust. And I will do the praying. We say, Father, Mother, God, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you for this time together. Thank you for these beautiful, amazing women to share this time with. And thank you for our viewing audience and for their willingness to keep coming back and listening and leaving comments and allowing us time in their day. And we so appreciate every single one of them. And we are so thankful to you for the ability to do this. In the name of the Father, amen. Ah. Amen. So like I said, I'm going to talk about faith and trust. And, you know, sometimes I, in my day, I, I, I have, I say I have faith, but if I don't trust, do I really have faith? You know, and it's kind of like a wobbly thing for me, like those little weeble wobblers used to be, because sometimes I feel like if, if I had faith in it and trust in it, then it would turn out the way I wanted it to. And I know that's not the way I'm supposed to think about this. So I get a little confused and I thought maybe my trusted ladies here would have some insight for me so that I could ponder on it. Does anybody have anything? Well, I'll share from a personal experience because yes, like you, I think I have this abundance of faith and trust and then I get pulled off balance. And what happened was, <clears throat> excuse me, I received a payment of monies from a friend that owed me money. And in my excitement, I went to the bank to deposit it and was happy, I got the money and I got home and I didn't have my wallet. And immediately went into fear, oh my God. I'm going straight back to the bank, but I doubt if it's there, somebody took it, the credit cards, the money. And when I went back, it, the manager had my wallet with all the money in it. So for me, it was just a lesson in personal growth to catch it faster and to stay in that faith and that trust and pray and know ahead of time on my way back that everything's going to be fine. The wallet's going to be there, the money, it's I'm, I'm divinely protected and guarded and trust. And if I remember to pray and prepave my way to all of my abundance, then it, it shows up. And like you were on a continuous journey of growth and practice, practice, practice in staying in that trust and faith in the face of seeming fearful situations. So God is so good. Thank you, God. Thank you for letting me share. Thank you. What, what about you, Linda? Well, this is a uh, kismet or something. I, you know, I'm, I'm in school and I uh, trying to, to stay on top of my work. I try and do a class every day. And today I was hit with the question, I don't have it in front of me, that said something like, how will you feel when your fears are manifest? Hmm. And I thought, well, I have no idea because I am not gonna manifest my fears. And it was this question sideways. And what a wonderful opportunity to look at, where am I in fear? What is it that grabs my attention because we manifest what we bring to us? <clears throat> and I've gotten better, but I still do it sometimes. And, and one of the things that trips me up is when a friend starts telling me how they are so worried about something 
And, and I think, yeah, I, I'm going to worry about it with you. And it's like, no, no, I don't want to do that. But, but you're empathetic, you're compassionate. Oh, yeah. And, and I think it's quicker for me to see it in somebody else because it tugs at me differently. You know, come on, let's worry here. For me, when I catch myself leaning into the fear or, or worrying about some tomorrow, I remember that right here, right now, where God is, all my needs are met. All my needs are met. I have a place to live. I have food to eat. I, my family is healthy. I, all my needs are met. So when I catch myself out of faith and trust, I'm out of time. I'm in some other time zone that doesn't even exist. So when I see it, and sometimes it's not as quick as I ought to, I try and bring myself right here, right now, where God is, and know that all my needs are met. I knew you guys would have some wise words for me. <laughs> really, um, Rev Deb, the, you know, catching myself off balance, that kind of really stuck with me. I, when I um, see the weeble wobble, that's what I'm feeling is that getting that off balance stuff and, and, and being okay that it's a, it's, that it's a lesson. Um, and, and Linda were, you know, <sighs> you know, the fear, I hope I'm not in that class. <laughs> I don't know if I want to answer that because <laughs> right now I'm in classes with her. So I'm wondering, is that one of the ones I'm in with her? Because um, I don't, I would not want to mass manifest my fears. And I, it's a matter of, uh, like you said, being out of, out of sync, being in the wrong time zone. And I, you guys have definitely given me a lot to think about. Um, I hope everybody else has a lot to think about here. Uh, Rev Deb, would you mind uh, meditating us out, a short meditation to end this? Sure, I'd be glad to. Thank you. So please join me and let's take a few deep breaths and just breathe in and breathe out. And when we breathe in, we're breathing in God's energy, God's life force and love and peace and joy. And when we breathe it out, we're breathing it out to the whole world, love, peace, joy. Ah, that's a double win. That's win-win. And I know, and I name and claim that when we are one with source, we are a win-win. We can't lose. When we have that trust and faith, everything goes well in our life. And I am so grateful. The synchronicities happen. The miracles happen. The doors open with ease and grace. What a fun adventure this life is. So I say thank you, God, for our deep loving connection and that trust and faith in you. And so it is. Amen. Oh, Amen. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And please like, share, leave a comment. And we love to hear what you have to say. And let us know if you want to join the conversation with us, okay? We'll see you again. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our chat. Be sure to comment, like, and share with others. Blessings.